Hello and welcome, my baked millipedes. How are you doing this wonderful day? It's Super Chomp Bombo here, and this is Blunarius, the Inflator Awakens. Level 2! So in this version, though, what we're going to do is we're going to make extra special difficult on ourselves. We're going to use no monkey knowledge. We're not going to use any extra insta monkeys or anything like that. In, and in addition, we're going to use a free hero. We're going to use Quincy, which is long thought to be probably the worst hero in the game. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start off with a Quincy, actually. Now, because we don't get a free dart monkey and because we don't have any shield lives, we have to think about how we're going to kind of pull this all off together. But the main thing still is getting those banana farms. If you get banana farms, you're going to be a pretty happy person. And you can trust me on that. Uh, the more money you have now, uh, in fact, the first 1 to 40 rounds are probably the most important part of beating Blunarius all the way to tier 5. Because you want to make sure you have uh, as much money as possible early on. Because that money can kind of snowball into further and further rounds and be super duper efficient for you. So, let's get started and figure out how we're going to do this. Our first banana farm is going to go just in the bottom right corner here. Just kind of kind of let Quincy fly solo for a while here while we just upgrade to top path banana farms and that's honestly my favorite banana farm right now it's just a two zero banana farm the most efficient early banana farm to start off the game with by far you do not want to get for try to jump to random third tiers or something like that just get the second tiers and you'll be very happy all right here we go we're coming up on around 15 here which is probably the most difficult early round in the game as far as actual total defense is required so uh we're definitely gonna use our ability here and i'm gonna pull off something a little bit fancy here i'm gonna put him on strong for a quick second wait till we see the first pink balloon we're gonna use our ability here and then we're gonna switch him back into first and i think that'll hopefully help us out a little bit here but even if it doesn't you know yeah that, that looks pretty good i think of losing one life here is not a bad deal not a bad deal a lot of people are very big life whores, all right? They love them lives. They cannot lose a single life, but if they do, they feel bad about themselves. And I used to be that way, but I've realized over time that is not the way that I should play my game. I should lose as many lives as I possibly can and realize that the only life that actually matters is the 150th. 149 lives, they're just like, they're extra buffer, you know? They just exist to exist. You don't need them, uh, but at the same time, come on. Uh, I kind of understand why people like having a buffer. Because if you do end up, you know, starting to struggle or something like that, it's nice to have that little tiny, um, that little tiny extra life there to keep you from losing the game at the act at the actual end there. But, because we're playing 120 rounds here for this Blue Narius, we want to make sure that we've got a good defense, uh, at around 120, where we spent an hour to get it, rather than spending our time trying to save three or four lives right now. Because if anything leaves at around 120, you lose. You know, like, 100%. You're not going to lose all life on 120, but right now, you could lose everything. All right, or 120, you could lose everything. Right now, you can't. So, let's make it work for ourselves, and let's get our banana farms flowing as soon as we possibly can. I was pretty impressed with myself pretty much the entire game here until we got to around 121, and then uh, everything just kind of fell apart here. We lost, like, lost a bunch of lives around 21 here. Now for 22, i got to use my ability again, and I think it's just about that time. Let's get the Grape Shot going for ourselves, guys. I think that's going to be the, the game changer here. That Grape Shot is going to be so much extra popping power. It's delicious. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it easy for you guys. Uh, what we're going to try to get is five banana farms before round 28. All right. Simple as that. Get them all up to 2-0. Uh, and then, as soon as we hit 28, we need to get some lead popping power. There's a lot of ways to go about doing that. Just a simple sniper, a glue gunner, you know, low level boomer, 002 boomer, or something like that. But my personal favorite these days, especially if you already have a bucket here on the screen, is to get the hot shots. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. But first, we are going to be greedy. As per usual, we're going to get that even greater production here on my banana farms. And, uh, we're ready for that hot shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right, now here's where it gets a little bit wild, because you can go a lot of different ways with this. But my favorite way right now is to actually build an extra buccaneer in the bottom here. And you're going to see what we're going to do with this guy. It's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be kind of fun. We're going to go for a bottom path uh, guy up to a merchant man. All right. Now, this guy's going to be making us money for the rest of the game. But in addition, he also pops some balloons, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, it's like a farm that can kill balloons. I love it. I mean, we need an attack and farm here for sure. I, I think that's like the next... If there was a power that could give your banana farms like a special boomerang-like banana attack, that would be fantastic. Here's our second merchant man already. I'm going to continue on with that strategy. We're going to get a third merchant man. Oops, I accidentally bought the wrong upgrade, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, it just means we're going to farm a little bit less here. Uh, it sucks because I want to click on this guy, but I also want to gra grab my banana, so I actually have to, like, wait until I have the money to click on him, which is kind of weird for me. 
And what I want to do is I want to get another Merchant Man, and we're going to get this guy up in the top here, because we want him to be able to pop Lunarius as well. All right. Get a little bit of extra pop and power here. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. There's another uh, Merchant Man. And uh, that's where we're going to stop. I've got four Merchant Men. I've got five Banana Farms. That's a lot of money-making opportunity over here. Now what we have to focus on is how we're going to pop Lunarius, and how we're going to do it quickly and efficiently. All right. So there's a couple things that I want to do. All right, I want to get a nice tower, right frickin' here. All right, we're going to get him up to, like, boom. We're going to get him up to a permafrost enhanced freeze. All right, help out against the blooms, like, a little bit over here, but really, that's a balloon area stopper, because it stops those big, chunky ceramics from sneaking through really, really quickly. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a nice, juicy... All right, we're talking juice-tastic here. Cannon. All right, we're going to go for a bottom path a recursive cluster over here. Recursive cluster, and we're going to get up to... Bigger bombs and heavy bombs all at the same time here. Looking good. I'm also going to give my uh, uh, Buccaneers over here some Grape Shot action. want to make sure everybody's got at least one Grape Shot going for ourselves. And now Blue Aries is going to pop out. And we're going to have to think, figure out how we're going to pop this guy. What are we going to do with the Attack Shooter? So all I want to do is I want to get a Attack Shooter kind of like right here, right on the top of the map here. We're going to build him up to a bottom path uh, overdrive. Kind of right when he gets close to us. But like right from the get-go, you don't necessarily need it. It's kind of like right when he goes on top of you. But in addition to that, um, we need a little bit more defense here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell one banana farm, get an overdrive with fast shooting, and we're going to go for a boomerang right next to this cannon. And we're going to get him up to Glaive Ricochet with faster firing. All right. And that's going to be kind of the, the, the brute of our, 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 our damage for now. We're also going to get an alchemist over here because we want to Berserk or Brew this guy as soon as we get the money for it. Berserk or Brew this guy, and now we're basically ready for action. All right, look at that ice tower doing a great job, slowing them all down, keeping them on the screen here, allowing my other towers to kind of do their job, which is perfect. Yes. Love to see it, man. All right, we're just about ready for our second rush of balloons, and I think I'm going to be safe. I'm going to get the more glaives. I, I don't want to lose these stupid ceramics. So let's get the more glaives here. Uh, again, ice tower doing a beautiful job here. These balloons are nothing to us. It's around 44 already, and now the tax shooter is out of the range. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the tax shooter, and I'm going to go for... Uh, a another, believe it or not, tax shooter. All right, we're gonna sell them. We're gonna buy them again. We wasted what a thousand dollars, something like that, and we can just rebuy. Uh, pretty much killing the balloon areas just as a, just as fast as he came. All right. She's Quincy's ability here, and even if he's not all the way dead, we're basically gonna make some plays here. All right, check this out. Balloon areas officially dead. Boom. Get rid of all these guys, and we're gonna go for a bottom. Uh, let's go for a. Let's go for a bottom path central market. All right, in addition, we're going to go for a marketplace down here, and I'm going to go for another marketplace over here. We're going to hope that just right now, like, our current defense is just kind of good enough. All right? Just kind of good enough for us. But I'm going to need... Oh, this guy's still alive, too. Let's get rid of that. Let's get another banana farm. And what I want to do is I want to get a wizard going. I think he's one of the best towers for me. Um, yeah, is that what I want? Wizard... Something from Moabs to yeah, all right. We'll get this guy first, and then we're gonna get our wizard going. I'm gonna go for a bottom path uh, wall of fire combo wizard here. All right, wall of fire doing a great job over here. Perfect. I'm gonna go for the shimmer. I'm gonna go for the unpopped army here. That's good cam detection and tons of popping power for us, guys. Tons of freaking popping power. It's beautiful. All right. Incoming. Now we've got our first Moab coming out against us, but with our current combo of, blue, of uh, towers here, we should be good. And all we're doing right now is we're farming. So we're going to be back on round 60 here. We're going to fight the second level of areas. All right, guys, so this time around, what we're going to do different is we're not just going to go for a base tax shooter. We're going to go for a higher level tax shooter. So even if we have to sell farms to make this happen, this is the way we're going to make it happen. We're going to go for a tax shooter kind of like right here again. We're going to go for a bottom path overdrive fast shooting. This time we want to make sure we've got both a village and an alchemist on him. All right. We're going to go Village. We're going to go Elk. And uh, we're going to go for the... You know what? I changed my mind. We're going to go for the Tax Shooter on the bottom side of this. Uh, elk's fine. We'll leave him there. Go Stronger, same Stronger Asset. And even if I have to sell farms, I'm going to make it happen. So we're going to just wait like until he's kind of in range here, basically. And we're going to make this happen because we're going to need more defense. All right? This is not going to be enough here for what we currently got. So, let's wait just a quick second here, and let's go for some selling. Here we go. We got the tax zone. 
We're gonna go for a quick one, two, three primary training and mentoring. Now he's shooting out yellow balloons here, and then when he pops out uh, the, the skull over here, this is where it's gonna get freaking insane, man. So check this out, all right? There's no qualms, no problems, if you just want to pause for just a quick second to think about what you're gonna do here. If you say, oh crap, he's got too many ceramics for me. What do I do? Well, you can always think about what you're gonna do here, but I think the best thing to do is still just go for that big juicy cannon. Uh, just ceramics. If you got an ice tower down here, you got a cannon for cleanup. I've got more defense with my other things, and now this time around, I've got the tax zone. All right, that's the big difference for me. It's that big juicy tax zone. I've also got random uh, uh, buccaneers here making me making me juicy money too. So don't forget about that. All right, tax zone, pretty much right on top of Lunarius for now. So he should take him down almost all the way here. Here's the last set of ceramics coming out. And Blunarius is gonna be defeated. All right, right when that's over, we get rid of our extra defense again, guys. We tier pop tier two, we got extra 50 monkey money. Right now, I'm gonna go for that trade empire. All right, just spend your money. However you can spend it, spend it up and get it going. So again, all I'm gonna do for the next 17 rounds, guys, is just basically farm, okay? I'm gonna get rid of anything that I don't need, like this guy and this guy. Uh, and I'm going to spend my money on things that will allow me to farm here. So I started to realize that I'm being a little bit too aggressive with my farming. And I decided to get an arcane spike here just to kind of play it safe. Uh, if you're really, really feeling uh, unsafe, get an alchemist on top of these guys. And that will get you even further. But uh, the blues were getting to like over here. And Quincy was actually having to use his ability. So I'm like, ah, that's, that's a little too rough for me. So arcane spike, I mean, you can go any which way you want to get your defense going. But an arcane spike is going to be good for the Moabs. And then I have a lot of balloon popping power already with my ice tower and kind of other towers over here. So I felt like that was the good decision. All right, guys, we're currently one round away from making this all happen again. So what I want to do is I want to set you guys up here. So we're going to go for a village wherever you can fit them. Hopefully you can fit them somewhere in this general vicinity here because we want to get our tax tree going again. Uh, as usual, we're going to get a tax zone. We're going to move them down here this time. Uh, just in case any balloons start to try to sneak through or whatever. Uh, we're gonna go for that attack zone for sure with faster shooting, and this time we're gonna go for primary mentoring again with the Alchemist, all right? Headshot. A four, two, Alchemist. Now the next thing we're gonna get is we're actually gonna switch over into a Mad pretty quickly. All right, so we're gonna get that Mad going. Positioning, I don't know, wherever the heck you wanna put them. I like this spot because I have more, more room for like straight lines, and I have a lot of maneuverability. Uh, but we do wanna get this guy pretty quick. So I want to get this guy done as fast as possible so I have more time to prepare for round 100. So I have a pretty good amount of banana farms at this point. Um, it's not the end of the world or anything like that, but I want to just sell one banana farm to get my mad going pretty much right away. I'm also going to go for the powerful darts in addition here. and You're going to see that pop count uh, or that life, that damage is not that fantastic. Only 350k here to take down this entire blue Nereus, man. That is not nothing, but that's not extreme either. All right, we already have eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars. We have a bunch of money over here. What are we gonna do? Well, one of my issues is definitely gonna be glue balloon. So what I want to do is I want to go for a glue gun. All right, we already have a primary training. Let's go for that glue solver. All right, here we go. We're popping out Moabs. The match should take these guys down pretty easily, but uh, I don't even think I need a glue solver, man. The match is too freaking good. <laughs> uh, he's just—he's pro, dude. He's professional. Here's the second set of Moabs coming out already see if those balloons causing any problems for me here um no i mean like for whatever reason just not bad at all look at this look at this ability here holy crap Come on. all right we're just gonna use quincy's ability here on these moabs just kind of blow up some ceramics and that will clean us up for tier three of balloon areas 350k not terrible yeah, definitely doable here and now again it's back to farming my friends 75 monkey money, and we get a mine. Okay, I'll take it. So I'm going to sell some of my excess towers. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to get rid of this guy. Now that I have a tax zone, I actually don't need this guy or this guy anymore. And we can start focusing again on them banana farms. So uh, sadly, it's going to take me quite a while to spend all this money. But we're just going to get banana farms up in the uh, uh, bottom path over here. Wherever we can fit them at this point. As long as we're making money, I'm going to be pretty happy. Now what I'm going to do is probably something pretty fancy here. All right, check this out. If we want to save some extra space, we could just say, this isn't, isn't crazy, but we'll get a Monkeyopolis. You know, $25,000. Uh, it's, it's not nothing, but, you know, it is what it is. I also want to get my Raider Scanner here. So we're, we're moving on into, we don't want to play something too dangerous, you know? Like, if we actually are start struggling against these balloons, um, it would suck. Absolutely suck to lose right now when we're not fighting a boss balloon. 
and it can happen to anybody, you know? You know, I might have to spend monkey money to kind of do those continues or whatnot. So if I if I wanted to be safe, I would get a Prince of Darkness. I just know for sure it's not going to be a problem. Now, the only problem with this Monkeyopolis is that I do have to leave my, my mouse down there because it's not an instantaneous grab. So I kind of forgot about that. Hopefully I didn't miss any crates and you guys are super upset with me right now. Hopefully. I beg, I beg thee forgiveness if that is the case. And basically, we're going to be back in about 10 rounds here, guys. Let's uh, wait it out. All right, guys, we've got one more round until Blunarius appears. So this is what I'm going to suggest to you. You start getting ready for temples. So I'm just going to build this first temple, and then I'm going to explain how a temple is actually built to the best of your ability. We're going to go for a knockback and an Ultra Vision on this guy, and then we're going to do the exact same thing over here, but we're going to get rid of these guys. All right, now this is nice when you actually slow it down, because this is the time for you to shine. All right, we're going to go for another Sun Temple as soon as we get the money for it. But first things first, I'm going to go for my other two towers that I really am looking forward to. Which again, something that we're yeah, kind of used to at this point. It's going to be the Tax Zone and the Mad. Alright, both of those guys are going to be literally fantastic for us. Uh, in addition, what we want to get is we want to get an Ultra Boost pretty soon. Now you're going to notice, as far as Blunarius itself is getting defeated, this temple does not do that much damage. Yes, he's okay, don't get me wrong but he's not like an extreme amount of damage or something like that. So you don't want to spend all of your money on temples. They're a little bit better for cleanup and things like that. Instead, you'd rather spend your money on things like an overdrive, uh, tax shooter, you know, uh, power him up and whatnot, and you probably want to get something like a mad. All right, so we're going to pop the mad in here uh, out of the range of this guy. And we're going to get a mad over here, again, with powerful darts. And you're going to see how much uh, damage we can start doing when we get all of these guys kind of combined together. All right, now, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my... Oh, check this out. We're going to use the mad ability, like, right on top of this guy. Ready, set, go! Oh, yeah. Look at that. And that's the first set of... Oh, my God's coming out right now. Whoo, hot diggity dogs. We've got a Wizard Lord Phoenix on our screen right now. Uh, basically, that guy's going to disappear in a second because we are going to get a temple eventually. One problem with that of Anna Farmer and this village down here is you notice I am going to miss some crates. It's just, it's just got to happen. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to go for that mad upgrade, and we're going to finally get this sun temple going. Do it, baby. Do it. I think I might have sucked up a, a thing on accident. So let's get the super range and epic range. He's already halfway dead. We get another mad ability coming down. Use some extra arrow action. And you can see this guy's already almost freaking dead, man. He's down to like a quarter of his health down there. This guy's got nothing on us. 750,000 health. That's nothing. That's chump a -rooney change here. All right, and now what I want to do is make sure to start getting ready for some... I'm just going to sell this thing. I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. We're going to go for the Ultra Boost. I'm going to Ultra Boost our Mad. And I'm just going to keep on uh, Ultra Boosting this guy over and over and over again. I want to get this guy 10 times Ultra Boosted. And there it is. Tier 4 has been completed. Now, we did this for round 106. We still have 14 more rounds to farm, get money, and make stuff happen here. And that is definitely my plan at this point. All right, guys, it's about that time. We're going to go for a, an extremely... Ex Ooh, this guy not... Okay, good. Thank goodness. I thought he was not level 20 yet. I did a little bit of a fancy play while you guys were gone. I was ultra-boosting my temple that I wanted to get up to a true sun god here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that this guy has at least all four types of towers with $50,000 each invested in him. So 50k worth of primaries, 50k worth of militaries, 50k worth of magic, and 50k worth of support. The only difference for the original temple is you need three out of the four to get them to the max level that it can be. And it works in a slightly different way, whether or not you get a support temple versus a not support temple. Regardless, I am ready to get this guy, so we're gonna go for it, the true sun god. To make this happen, though, we are gonna need some money. Though, I'm gonna be a little upset if I do have to sacrifice my mad to make this happen. I hope that is not the case, my friends. So we need 500k here. Um, it's like we are pretty much running out of money here, as ridiculous as that is. But this true sun god, basically by himself, will destroy everything in his path, my friends. I really don't want to get rid of my Ultra Boost, though. So we're going to get rid of this guy. I need another $1,400, so I guess we're waiting. Let's wait for $1,400, because he's only got 3 million health, which is not nothing. Don't get me wrong. But, holy crap, Temple can't even reach yet, so why even get him? All right, get ready for it. A few hundred dollars more, and we are just about ready. $500,000 true... Sun God. Now this guy is actually going to be pretty powerful against this uh, boss blue here. All right, don't forget, uh, you do want to power this guy up. So let's keep him overclocked. Um, 
We're gonna get a village in range over here as well once we get the money for it. There we go. We finally made $5,000 from this guy because he is the support temple. So we're gonna get that jungle drums on him. We're gonna go for the uh, alchemist over here as well. We're gonna empower this guy. This guy's gonna be the main guy that's gonna do pretty much all of the damage to this boss over here. We have 20 rounds to beat him. So pretty significant amount of time here. I'm not too worried about it. This guy's gonna do pretty much everything for us. So just keep powering up your guys and uh, make it happen. Here he is fully fully 10 times ultra boost at this point, which is pretty sweet. Almost a quarter dead. Look at that, a quarter dead, a quarter of the way through the rounds though. That is a little bit scary. We do have some bad balloons coming in here. All right, all right, I can see it. And the nice thing is the true sun god can just sort of obliterate everything. Bad balloons, schmad balloons, unmatched mad balloons, whatever you got, it really doesn't matter. Um, at this point, realistically, this temple is almost garbage. Uh, we can get rid of them and get a mad or something like that instead, because honestly, I was a bit unimpressed with the double temple strategy. Uh, this is something that you you live and you learn, right? You know, I, I, even if you're good at this game, you don't automatically know this is going to be the best strategy or something like that. So here we go. We're going to do that guy. Uh, what I need to get was that village. Where's that village at? Where's that village at? Did I get a village? There it is. All right, we're going to go for the uh, uh, call to arms here. Hopefully this guy doesn't get too far out of range. He is officially out of range now. Woo! So he's still getting damaged pretty hard, but being out of range of my true sun god here does suck a little bit. Uh, I guess we're just going to watch this unfold for a little bit. I mean, it's looking pretty good. He's down to just about a quarter of his health, but he still has to make two more passes through here. Unless the rounds somehow beat us up hard. I don't know, man. I guess it's, There's always a possibility. Always that possibility. All right, get ready for it. We're about to make some ma magical plays here. All right, he's just about in range. Just about in range. There he is. He's in range. All right, use everything we got, man. Every ability. Check out this damage, man. Woo! Hot diggity dog. That is good. That is juicy. It's not vengeful temple damage, but it's pretty gosh on clips. All right, let's overclock him again. Call to arms him again. And basically, we relied almost entirely on our temple here. We didn't make it too complicated on the guys. Didn't need to do anything too crazy here. Just get a temple, get it somewhere near the middle of the map, and you will take this guy down, and it'll be almost no problem for you. And tier 5 Blunarius, with no monkey knowledge, a base hero, and everything else you could possibly think of taken away from us is taken down. We get an extra balloon icon, $125, 25 trophies. We get a tech bot, a 310 attack shooter. And that's it. That's all you get. It feels so, like, I want, like, a, a better victory screen, you know? Like, victory! Like, League of Legends style or something like that. Like, you're freaking amazing, Chris! You beat that boss balloon, and you beat him so good! You beat him off hard, man! I can't wait to get that sticky goo from Blunarius all over my body, right? I mean, everybody wants to beat him off like that, right? Right? I mean, come on! Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to do something like that? Anyways, now the elite version is unlocked, only to get extra specially difficult. But the rewards are that much more delicious here, my friends. I think they're double all around, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe and have a super duper delicious day.